Like Viggo Mortensen was heavily into this, right? He was gonna make this work no matter what. Super passionate. I think he essentially is Aragorn. Like that's just how he lives. <laughs> like he, he well, he went around this set. He carried his sword with him everywhere. I like the videos of him. Like they they hit cut and he's like running off to go fishing before they film the next scene. <laughs> Back in Sure, I know about it. He's over there. The presence of the ring drawn to the power of the one. They will never stop hunting you. Aragorn's rep and attitude match that of a really like great warrior and everything. And you do see him fight individual fights, but it's just the, the boss ones that I like that really sells the skill. I think a servant of the enemy would look fairer. Feel fouler. It's foul enough. I'm really looking forward to Amon Hand. It's like one of my big highlights of the um, whole trilogy. Oh yeah. I remember seeing that as a kid when he like goes out to meet the horde of orcs and like raising his sword. And I was like, I want to do that when I grow up. And fuck was I disappointed when I found out you can't do that. Oh. Damn it. Where is he leading us? Rivendell, Master Ganji. And this Aragorn guy ruins it. I love that this is the first scene Viggo Mortensen oh, did. Look at it. The first of many times where Frodo is injured and screaming. I love that one. Just went fuck this about. <laughs> I'm not fighting this. Go jump in the swamp, guys. This scene oh, and uh, the one at Amon Hen are kind of what define what I love about Aragorn. Just like his total dedication to like making sure Frodo's okay. Stay away! Frodo! Yeah, Aragorn's like, I'm not, I'm, I'm chill. I, I fucking, I'm super nice. I said you have my sword. I swore to protect you. Can you protect me from yourself? Yeah, it's this point onward for the entire rest of the movie that I think about whenever I think about this movie. Would you destroy it? Everything about it's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. All the things we praise so far, but also Amon Hen as a whole, is uh, his fellowship just comes up slightly above the other two for me. I just. I think what I like about it is that, or what I prefer fellowship over the other two is. I would have gone with you to the end. Into the very fires of Mordor. It's so character focused. Not that character isn't a big part of the next two movies, but I prefer all this stuff over any of the big siege battles that we get later on. Look after the others, especially Sam. He will not understand. This fight somehow is very personal. Yeah. It, yeah. Like the fact that he tells Frodo to run and he's like, I'm willing to die just to hold them off. That's yeah. like, that's like mm -hmm. his character. And that's why I fucking love him. Yep. Go, <sighs> Frodo. Like, I find this scene so much more emotionally impactful than the Battle of the Pelennor Fields or the siege at uh, Helm's Deep. I, I would say so much more. Run! I love those well, two, I, but yeah, well, I, I, Amon Hand is pretty amazing. Well, I, Look I, at I this, saw, though. I'm speaking for me. <laughs> this shot. Oh, oh God, it's, it's so, so cool. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's, why is my favorite character fucking love him? The fact that he has to run away because he's like, oh, I'm going to be fucked if I just stay out in the open like this. Look at it, it's surrounded. And then who comes in but not his two best buddies? God, I love the music for this battle. It's so amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this shot. It's so <laughs> Aragorn just fired that one there while Legolas is yeah. <laughs> still with that one guy. Like Legolas, can you shoot this guy? <laughs> Give me a hand, yeah. bro. <laughs> like, I'm having a lot of trouble here. Yeah. This fucking fight is so raw. It is so raw. <laughs> I mean, it's and great because it doesn't go on too long. It doesn't overstay its welcome here. It feels very real. <laughs> no, it's savage though. But the, uh, our theater like erupted in cheers when Lord's got beheaded. Yeah. The legendary deflection. <laughs> the sound of it as well. Yeah. When he licks the knife. <laughs> 
well, this is totally champion versus demon of hell, basically. Uh, yeah. Brilliant boss fight. So to the girl in Mahler's class who was scared by that. Fuck you. Fuck Aragorn's objective now is to save Merry and Pippin. It's not necessarily about the wider scale of the battles that are going on or the, the, the world that uh, is reshaping around them. It's we've got to save our friends. And I think mm -hmm. there's something pretty admirable about that. Well, and of course, Gandalf sort of uh, gets them on the road next to Rohan. And it's like, so what would have happened had they caught up and saved Merry and Pippin? What would their quarry be at that point? <laughs> So a little no known fun it. fact. No one say it. No one little, say it. Little no known fun it. fact. No, 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 no. Resist, when, uh, everyone be quiet right now. When everyone Viggo Mortensen quiet. kicked that helmet, he broke his face, and he had to wear what? a different one throughout the whole movie. I heard he broke his spine and could never walk again. <laughs> he broke his soul okay. bad. A hobbit lay here. And it's definitely a part where Gimli well, and nice Legolas are just entertaining his sort of musings. He's got that Arkham City thing where, you know, the detective mode. Eagle vision. I Robo didn't know that he was mode. in the like a shadowy he outline is, of them yeah. just crawling away. Also, you gotta, the, he, you gotta wonder if he's getting increasingly mad about having broken his toe. If yeah. you guys had looked a little bit more, I wouldn't have kicked that helmet. And that's still well, so Sometimes when it comes to like, like, uh, like feet and toes in particular, I hear that people will just break them sometimes and not even know. I figured that if you break your big toe, well, I mean, you will definitely know. He also, that. I mean, face Famously did well, feel it, right? That's the point of that fun fact. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying, I've heard stories of people who yes, have broken I've heard that toes too. and yeah. people don't even know Well, it's pointed out. Well, lesser known fun fact, uh, uh, Miguel Mortensen, you would have broken a tooth during the shoot and uh, immediately wanted to continue <laughs> because he wanted to use the pain to... Uh, Sort of invigorate him while filming. As soon as the the Helm's Deep stuff, and apparently the producer was like, "Go to the dentist now." <laughs> like, did he not? Oh, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Did he not just his tooth. It was like a chip yeah. on the one of his front teeth. Did he not super glue it back in? That was uh, something that he suggested, but I think it's a myth that he actually did it. Uh. <laughs> and the funny thing is that he went to the dentist in like the full gear with orc blood all over him and he said the reason he didn't want to get rid of it is for continuity because nice. when he comes back he wants it to be what maintained a legend. man i want to go to the dent that might get me to go to the dentist if i can wear like a full suit of armor and have a sword and orc blood all over me like i just came out of this incredible battle protecting rohan it's just you know, like ah, can you take a look at the teeth i might have a cavity in the back right there yeah i can give that a look just in case i don't know oh, considering you could dive in abscess oh, yeah. teeth are a big deal the amount of fucking stories there are of Vigo Mortensen being awesome. Because <laughs> like, apparently he's back on set in a half hour after uh, finishing with a dentist. That includes travel time. Yeah, that, that dude committed. Turn this fellow free. He has seen enough of war. He's such a compassionate man. Cares about animals. Mary Sue. The horse likes no. it. No. <laughs> and then you just have these shot scenes with Eowyn because you ain't getting those characters anymore. Yep. Uh... It's hilarious that they've showed us she's talented with sword fighting, but that she's shit at cooking. That's <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good. It's really good. Maybe she should fight. My uncle told me a strange thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like burning his hands. Like that. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, it's not trying too hard. It's just normal person funny. It's yeah. It's the kind it of this is like character happen stuff happening with it. Yeah, this is exactly. an extended scene right here that they did not put in the theatrical cut that I haven't seen. You cannot be eighty. I look great for my age. Okay, that's all that matters. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Diet and exercise, years older man. Than Tobin Bell. I'm sorry. Please eat. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I will. I'm I gonna. Shall, as soon as you turn your back on me. I just prefer to eat, you know, alone. <laughs> I can't eat while people are looking. Can you guys eat while people are watching? I can. I don't have any problem with it, but... I don't know. No, but I, it's, yeah. some people have that problem. It, it, it's... Different. Well, when you have a beard, you just have... Oh, a yeah, I guess. Yeah. Lots of napkins mm -hmm. around, but I, I don't give a shit. Oh, look at that. Never mind. I was just gonna mention the see-through dress. You can mention that. That's okay. I just did. <laughs> we we all saw it. We saw what we saw. Boy, go Frodo. On Badlin. Can we not talk about Frodo when we're together? <laughs> She's like, okay, so Sam. He's like, no, that that's no. I feel like I don't see her much these days, Liv Tyler. Mm. The only other thing I've seen her in is Robot and Frank. I like that movie. He's coming back. 
in nice the Thunder. Hobbit. No, she's coming back. Captain America, uh, Captain oh. Black Falcon, America, but Brave New. Isn't that World getting Reinhardt? Reinhardt? No. Yeah, she's coming back. Yeah, because she's Ross's daughter, right? Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Harrison uh, Ford fit. is my dad. So she's had two dads, Hugo Weaving and Harrison Ford. Well, I'm William Hurt. And William Hurt, yeah. Ooh. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. How much money do you think we can give her to convince her to not be in a Marvel property? I don't know so how much she's got going on these days. Good, though. Yeah, maybe she's just doing stuff. Maybe she's just doing stuff. You, you have to assume for most of these actors now, it's just a paycheck. It's yep. literally well, just Some of them are explicit about it, you know? Oscar she's Isaac, a, Michael Dunham, like, yeah, Deborah. Like, uh, I need another house, yeah. I like how they paid attention to get him with the same hairstyle he had in this scene in the first movie. I wonder if they shot it at the same time. Along, maybe. Yeah. Maybe? Because they didn't shoot all, these films at once. All films were shot, so... yeah, like concurrently. Well, so yeah, but they weren't shot in order. Yeah. No, yeah, of course not. But, like, while they were here at this place, they, they did all the scenes. Because yeah. yeah. maybe it, it, they had, like, a like plan a... or something. <laughs> It, it looks oh, like a different time of day, so I, I wonder if this was filmed the same day or just different lighting or different color grading or something. We have the color grading in A+. Plus. This belongs to you. Damn. It was a gift. It was a shitty gift. No, that's a great gift. If someone gave me something like that, I'd be like, dang. I mean, if it were me, I'd just be like, does I have magical powers? Can I cast dang. spells? That that would be a fair thing to ask, though. Does Just so we're clear, because this is like elf stuff, like, is this magic? Does it do anything that I should this, be aware of? This does give me a buff, right? Because if not, I don't want it. Yeah. And she's like, you run 1% faster. You're like, oh, okay. well, I guess that'll add up over a lifetime. Yeah. Extra stamina for that long chase sequence. <laughs> Oh, head just comes I like right that off. Little flick, right off. Flicked off the head. <laughs> Wee! This guy is second shot. Doesn't get it. I feel bad for that guy. He's nailing yeah. it. He's like, ah, I got one. <laughs> he broke his back. <laughs> and, and, smells and it bad. smells on top of everything. <laughs> this isn't at all like the blood in the Fangorn Forest. Oh, that was delicious. Shit. I like that this is more of a, I'm probably not gonna be able to break that deck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just always building up the three of them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so badass. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Swing. Oh, ah, you stabbed me. He twisted him as as well. He's oh, no. twisted and gutted, just uh, like Galadriel said you should do. Everyone has an addiction to stabbing. It's a good addiction. Very stabby. Uh oh. Aragorn's dead. It's pretty incredible yeah, that they won. Right. Yeah. No, oh, you gotta worry yeah, if you're like the lost orc who's like, oh lost. shit. <laughs> it's like, we had the advantage. We had wargs. That one guy who we lose? Us. The thing uh, is, the yeah. wargs will run right into a sword. They'll just take it. Yeah, they will. They're not bright, I guess. Horses aren't either, but they're like very, very skittish, so that keeps them alive. I took a little tumble off the cliff. <laughs> really had to rip it his head together. Yeah, that's that seems more like additional punishment than healing. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could you can survive that. Oh easy. yeah, but they gotta go. You know that Aragorn's just taking the opportunity to relax a little bit. Yeah, it's just a little swim. He's like, come on, that was pretty recharge. rough. Recharge the batteries. He starts dreaming about Arwen. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Starts dreaming about Sam seeing the bottom. Also wakes him up and he's like, back to war. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Get up. Mm, that looks like a serious injury. He's fine. Hey, he's fine. get he up! Sleeps. Whether by the sword or the slow decay of time, Aragorn will die. He's 100% right about this. Yep. But you, my daughter, you will linger on in darkness and in doubt. Here you will dwell. Bam to your grief under the fading trees until all the world is changed and the long years of your life are utterly spent. Nice pep talk, Elrond. Thanks. Motivation minus one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that didn't make me feel better at all. <laughs> yeah, well, I still like him. After that speech? No. Screw you, Dad. Ooh. Yeah, you're a big jerk. I'm gonna kill him! <laughs> Bless you, laddie. 
That's the necklace that Arwen gave him. Which one of you said it was a stinky gift? Who did I say did. that? Wow. That is not based. All Isengard is emptied. How many? 10,000 strong at least to destroy the world of men. But yeah, it's interesting to think that Aragorn is like learning a lot of what it means to be a king from Thad and Yeah, I mean Aragorn's but, never been a leader he, until now. Yeah, like he's a, an <clears throat> extremely talented warrior, but I mean it's it's more than just it's more than just that that makes a good king. I'm sorry. This chick's all into me. Damn. I thought we were just work flirting. It's, it's the whole like ninety six years old thing that really got her in. Yeah, he said like eighty seven. You you just hyper exaggerate. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm ridiculous. Miles off. Cool, You're cool, trying to make cool. it seem like it's not true love. Yeah, it kind of just doesn't really solve the problem, does it? No. Almost looks like as well as he Hot dropped potato. it, he was uh, trying to hold on to it too. Who will I took? Dude, the discourse about this moment. Holy shit! Do you remember the the person that was like, "Is Aragorn a fucking idiot? That is not a good sword." Remember this? Oh. Yeah, it's like you're <laughs> like, missing the point of what you're supposed to uh, hear. Oh my it's god. Like you have to encourage him for fuck's sake. This is a good sword. <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? Imagine if he just said, this sword is fucked. This it's is gonna a shitty sword. sword. The first time you hit someone with it. So I mean, Aragorn is very easy to like, because I feel like he is a combination of all inspirations of all the people he's been talking to and meeting as well as his own sort of values. They, they managed to maintain that great balance with him, where he is a man who's still slightly reluctant to take on his destiny in the, you know, film. the king of Gondor. Still fundamentally great at what he does. He is a fighter. He is yeah. a warrior. And he will take on the enemies that are in front of him. He just doesn't want that larger well, we responsibility. Well, we went over Hen, he is fucking badass. Yep. And I mean, helps deep, of course, too, but, <laughs> you know. As Gary mentioned there, like, in the books, he's he's a bit different. He's very much a man set on his course already, and he knows exactly who he wants to be and what he's going to do. Yeah. I see why they gave him a little bit more self-doubt. It totally works in the movies. I love it.